Alright, so this boss is a gargoyle, and you can cut off his tail, and it's especially easy if you have a lightning based weapon, and as you can see, I done it immediately. You kind of just have to hit the right place. So I'm going to get my weapon two handed here, and as you see, at half health, his friend joins in the fun. So I'm going to run away now. I think I've done pretty much all my melee work for now. And Solaire is taking some damage. This guy has a lot less health though, so once you've got it down to just him, it'll be easy. And Solaire finished him off, nice. So, once Solaire wins us the fight, come on, I done some stuff there too. He'll give us some stuff, uh, this time he gave us twin humanities, which instead gives us plus two to humanity when you use it. And his sunlight medal, which I believe is only just used in his covenant, which we should get to later. But for now, we can go up here, and this is actually where the first bell is. So, there you go. So yeah, that boss fight, sometimes once you once you first do it, you'll probably die a few times actually. Because, if the thing is, if you don't kill the first gargoyle fast enough, then you're pretty screwed, because the second one will come in and kick your ass. So killing the first one is really the most important part, and as we can see, I did get his weapon, the Gorgo Tail Axe, which I believe requires, yeah, it's 14 strength, 14 dex, and for some reason it gives you these st st <laughs> the statuses once you uh, equip it for some reason. I don't know. But uh, you'll notice that I swing like a drunken man when I try to, uh, when I try to actually swing with this. I think the bonus over there is that it, it uh, improves your defense or something. I don't know. It, w it looks like it's improving defense. The halberd I can't use either. Nope. Halberd does quite a lot of damage though. Maybe I could go for a halberd. S was it 12 decks? 16 strength. Well, I'm planning on getting 16 strength, so I guess I could go for a 12 decks, yeah. But uh, let's go back to what we had, the longsword plus five. There we go. And go ring this bell. Alright, so we just get that little cutscene there, doesn't really show us that much, but once you're sliding down the second ladder here, you'll notice someone new has just randomly appeared. <laughs> Don't just attack him if you're scared, because yeah, he's just kind of standing there if you'll notice. And if we talk to him, he'll announce his presence. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem, the Pope. Hello, our friend. Body. Warm welcome. Cometh out to confess. For your king. For indeed your sin is my domain. So this guy, I believe he's a way of white covenant guy. He'll sell you some stuff. Uh, the poison resist ring might actually be quite useful. Uh, he also sells stuff that removes curses. He also sells homeward bones. And I'm gonna buy like ten of those for five thousand souls because I will need them uh, yeah so I'll buy some of those he can you can also request absolution which will get rid of any sins and basically turn NPCs that you've attacked back to normal I believe also yes you can learn gestures I don't know if I showed that it is only human to commit a sin. So, I think if I press select, I can actually do some of these. Uh, you can also switch them. So, the one I just got was... Oh yeah, I got I did get the Shrug. The Shrug is definitely the best one. I mean, come on. I should do that after killing every boss. <laughs> pretty much. Okay, so now we need to actually go back to... Remember that area with the dragon on the bridge? And remember that door we couldn't open? Well, we're going to be heading back there. Now it is going to take us a while, so I'm probably going to try and kill a few more Balder Knights. They probably won't drop the shield. And I'll meet you back at that door, so I'll see you guys then. 
All right, hey guys, we're back. We'll notice uh, Solaire is gone. Yes, you remember this place. I actually ran through the undead burg uh, just to get back here because it's actually the closest run back to the area we're going to go to for a while. So up there is the dragon and we're going to take this door here. And it's also safer to go this way because if you ascend those stairs there, the dragon might breathe fire on you when you're running over here and kill you. So, yeah. So you can use the basement key here. Obviously you can't use the master key or you would be able to skip that area right there. And you can fall down this huge set of uh, ladders. And we can actually get a shortcut right away back to the undead burg so you won't have to run back here if you die. This, this area has a few annoying enemies but it's fairly short. So this door here can open and that will lead you back on a shortcut. Some enemies might actually follow me here. It doesn't look like anyone's following me. So, there are some dogs that will annoy you here. Unfortunately, I can get the boulder shield, but whatever. I can either get it later on, or I can just upgrade this one and use it for the next boss. That was actually really easy to take those two out. There's another one over there. I can try and use soul arrow. These, th these guys are pretty pretty fast to use soul arrow on, and they dodge as well, so... Yeah, that's not happening. But somewhere over here is someone I need to get. Somebody. Please let me out of here. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. Unlock the door. Damn. I'm finished. How did this ever happen? But we can actually open the door. Da -da -da, and talk to this guy here. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm safe. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. So he's going to go back to Firelink and kind of sell you sorceries, and you can also I get... I'm Oops. Fine. I will rest all. I have my sorcery. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Sorry, I wanted to kind of just pick this up here. You can get the sorcerer stuff here, including the sorcerer catalyst, which is actually better for casting spells than the uh, catalyst I currently have, even though sorcerers, sorcerers just start with it. These guys can be annoying because they do quite a lot of damage with the with the torches, as we can see. So let's try and take our time with them. There's quite a few of them as well. So yeah, these guys can be annoying. There we go. So yes, the Sorcerer Catalyst can actually be... That attack is really annoying when they run at you. Better for casting spells than the one I currently have. So I might want to swap to that once this sort of weapon becomes kind of useless. It's kind of okay right now. So I'm going to continue using it for now. But I think in a couple areas... Pro probably after this area, honestly, I'm probably going to ditch this thing. Now, I think you get ambushed about here. And these guys are quite annoying to take out, and they can backstab and repost you. So I'm going to... Oh, they also have throwing knives. Alright. I'm going to run away for now. I'm going to run up here so I can kind of get them in single file. They also cause bleed. And... But if I block them and then attack, that should actually do quite a bit. Bandit's knife, alright. There is only three of them, I think, here. But I think there's like three of them and a dog next. So that's not going to be great. Um, in one of these buildings, there is some an item. Yep, here. Mailbreaker. So the longsword, I don't know, I haven't used it much yet. The thing is, the other the the catalyst seems to be doing pretty decent right now, honestly. So yeah. Okay. I think it's somewhere around here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Damn it! <laughs> he got the throwing knife off on me. All right. Okay, we managed to take those two out. That's good, actually. If they swarm you, that might actually be a problem. And don't turn your back to them, target them, because that will mean they, they, that they shouldn't be able to backstab you. Alright, that worked out okay. They do quite a lot of damage if they hit you, so be defensive there. Especially for me, I have no vitality. And I forgot that there was another dog, alright. So 
So there is another large soul in here. I think there's something else, yep. And um, we get all the thief stuff in here. Which is kind of cool. Over there is actually the boss door. We don't want to go in there right now. Uh, I could take him, maybe. But... I might want a better shield. I probably could do it with the one I have right now. I might die. I'm not sure. So we're going to get heavy soul arrow on this guy. And... This guy's probably going to... God damn it. I'm trying to target and it's doing that. Okay, it went over the guy. But that's fine. We'll just take him out like this. They also can drop their set. Hollowed Thief set. I think that's the last two guys here. Yeah, it looks like it. So after that we can actually get another shortcut. We cannot open this door here, unfortunately. We can get in our large soul, and we can return to Firelink from here, believe it or not. So we're going to go up these stairs, <laughs> or we're not going to go up these stairs, alright. We're going to fall off these stairs. There's one archer here, but he's not really a big deal. We see, uh, I don't know, suddenly using bows instead of crossbows. There is a merchant here. So this is the merchant that will actually help you out quite a bit. The she basically sells most of what... Well, does she actually sell what the other guy sold? She sells stuff that is more useful than the other guy. So, obviously I'm going to keep her alive. She doesn't give me anything, I don't think, when you kill her. She gives you like stuff like you can get fire. Like a fire buff like the gold pine resin, but this one is fire based. And you can also get poison. And she sells quite a lot of arrows. Unfortunately, I don't have a bow or anything. I need more decks to use any type of bow. So I'm not going to buy anything from her right now. But I think she's probably going to be my go-to for buying Homeward Bones later on. Right now I have 16, which is more than enough. Unless I start going on some farming routes, but I don't think, I, <laughs> I don't think that's really necessary right now. I can't believe I have 48,000 souls. I don't know, I just seem to be uh, unlucky on the drops this time. I don't I don't really need those shields or anything like that, but we can go and take on that next boss pretty soon. But first I want to get some other stuff. Now, Griggs is all the way back here, and that means Lawtrek is over back. I'll show you where he is in a sec. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally... Would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. I of course, we will require some materials, but I'm happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? Sorry, I thought, <laughs> I thought he was going to end there. I think he only talks to you if you have a certain intelligence. Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Oh yes, by the way, I turned off the motion blur because I, I, th I thought it was kind of, eh, I don't know. It d didn't seem like a very good effect to me. But anyway, right now we can buy a ring from him. Now, there's two rings he sells. The Bellwing Dragon Crest Ring and the Lingering Dragon Crest Ring. The Lingering one boosts the length of sorcery effects. But the one I want is the Bellwing Dragon Crest Ring because it actually, I think it increases the damage your sorcery sorceries do by like 20%. So that is 20,000 souls, which is quite a lot for this stage, but luckily I have quite a few. He also sells some new spells. He'll sell you Solaro and Heavy Solaro, you know, standard stuff. But he'll also sell you Great Solaro, which is kind of the upstep to Solaro. And he'll also sell you Great Heavy Solaro, which is the upgrade to Heavy Solaro. So it still has the higher cast time. But Great Solaro is about the same cast time as the normal Solaro. It just does more damage. It also sells you Fall Control, which actually reduces your damage from falls, which can be useful in some parts. He also sell you Magic Weapon, which I probably want to get. And he'll sell you Magic Shield and Oral Decoy, which is kind of useless. It just means that it's, it distracts enemies or something. I don't know. 
I haven't used many of the sorceries, so yeah, you know. So we're gonna get Great Soul Arrow and Great Heavy Soul Arrow at the very least. So let's go and get those two, that's quite a lot. And we're also gonna get Magic Weapon. And that is quite... that's pretty much all we need from him. Right. That'll do it. That should help you on your journey. May we meet again. That will certainly help me, yeah. So now we can go rest at the bonfire here and attune our magics. Now, I may want to actually boost my attunement to 19 now. Yes, I do have enough to do that. And I'm going to boost my intelligence to 20 and I just have enough to do that. So I'm going to be level 19 going into this next boss and have 5 attunement slots. So I can get rid of Remedy. I haven't really been using Fireball right now and you can't get better fire, uh, pyromancies for a while until you free this other guy so I'm gonna put great heavy soul arrow down I'm gonna put magic weapon down and I could actually go for great soul arrow instead of normal soul arrow and since I don't use 30 uses of soul arrow too much I'm actually gonna replace that so I'm gonna keep the fireball for now just in case I come against a guy who is like resistant to magic and there are a few so yeah have a backup. Alright, so Lotric hasn't isn't actually here yet, which means yeah, Lotric isn't here yet. He should be sitting right here, so I guess you have to quit and reload or something in order for him to get over here. So I think I'm what I'm gonna do next is actually go take out the Capra demon. So I'm actually gonna take a break for a while and then I'll see you back once we reach the Capra Demon's boss fight door. Sorry, I actually spoiled the name of him. Uh, the Capra Demon is the next boss. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. But yeah, the next boss is called the Capra Demon. And we will be fighting him momentarily. Alright, hey guys, I'm back at the boss door. and Now, I put on the Bellwing Dragon Crest Ring and I move stuff around so I got my Longsword Pyromancy Flame in my left hand and Sorcerer's Catalyst and the Shield in the right hand. So I, I moved out the Tin Banishment Crystal. I'm just going to use the Longsword mostly from now on, probably. Uh, now, the thing you can do if you have the Catalyst in your other hand and your weapon in your, well, usually your right hand, um, you can use the Magic Weapon and that will buff your weapon by some... F I think it's affected by intelligence, so it should help a bit. I mean, I do have uh, 20 intelligence right now, so it should help quite a bit. But the thing about this boss is he has two dogs, and they will pester you until you kill them, and he's going to be attacking you as well, so getting those dogs out of the way is generally the best way to go. He doesn't have a cutscene, so it, it throws you in pretty quickly, so let's move to that, get my shield up, and move through the door. Now, I believe he does the... this... this attack, which is... Oh, God damn it. He sometimes does the... a really slow attack to begin with, and unfortunately he is following me quite... quite a lot right now, which is bad. Right, so let's go kill this guy. Okay, I didn't really mean to do that. So I'm going to take a flask. Yeah, that attack. He sometimes does that right at the start, and that's probably his easiest one to dodge. Thankfully I made it out of there. Oh man, how did he hit me from there? Jesus. Oh Jesus, alright. Okay. Right, since I got rid of his dogs, this should be easier, but... Jesus, I gotta do a bit of faffing around. This is probably gonna be my one of my hardest fights, because... Uh, yeah, he's, he's not a nice guy here. He might not actually be able to get across here, I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna get my shield up anyway. Alright. So I am locked on him. He has trouble hitting me from here. I don't care. Alright, I'm hitting him. So this is great soul arrow I'm using here. It does quite a bit more damage than the regular. He's going to hit me here, yep. And he's going to fall. I shouldn't have done that. Alright. Okay, we can do some damage here. Alright, I should be able to just hit him a couple more times. Oh, that'll do it. Alright. So there's Capra Demon. 
he's kind of annoying because you're in such a fucking small room and small rooms are generally where mages die so that is uh, that is a, really your first major annoying boss he, you can die several times on this but uh, the dogs are your biggest problem at the start once you take out the dogs you can kinda take it a bit slowly but yeah I had to use six flasks there, so make sure you have ten, I would imagine, if you're doing this for the first time. But this will actually open the key. The open, open the key! No, open the door to the depths, which is this area here. Now, I'm not going to go in here yet. That's pretty much going to be the end of what I do today. Plus, I don't want to go in there unprepared. Though, to be honest, there's not really too much I want to get right now. Um, there is a few things I could get. I could go to this other area and grab this special thing which will allow me to do more damage with my sorceries, which is ridiculous. But that is quite a difficult area. And I probably want a better shield for that. So what I might do is I might go back to the Undead Parish and try and get a Boulder Shield. And then I may or may not go for that item that increases sorcery damage even more which makes me ridiculous in terms of damage. Let's actually test some of our new damage here. So I'll kill these couple guys with my sword right away. Sword does decent damage. May want to find a replacement for it eventually, but yeah. Okay, so I gotta get used to what I've set up, it up to be. So great heavy soul arrow here. It has the same sort of cast time, but it does a lot more damage. Uh, of course we have magic weapons, so let's see what I do with Okay, there we go, he missed me. So 147, I don't know how much it's increasing it by, but if I swap it out, it should, yeah, it swaps it out, the, uh, the actual buff. So yeah, it does quite a bit more. I don't know if it actually displays it on the stats. I'll check that after this guy. Go we'll take him out. Um, right, okay, so I wanted to check does magic weapon actually display the bonus so it's got 120 and if I put magic weapon on okay I, I don't think it's displaying it here as far as I know doesn't look like it at least but yeah it should it sh wait oh it's because I equipped it shit <laughs> and I took a flask I'm just messing about here really no, it doesn't tell you. Okay, that's fine. But this is the first magic weapon thing you get. There are two more. Great magic weapon and crystal magic weapon, which are going to be quite good. Like I said, the problem is you can't do it on a weapon that has like an element on it, like magic, enchanted, fire, lightning, etc., which we could get later on. In fact, I think I could get that for from Greg's right now, but I need a green Titanite shard, which I don't have as far as I know. <laughs> Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. Oh, we got some story going on here. I'm going to talk oh, hello. to nice. Greg's again and uh, actually purchase something. I don't know. I'll get fall control for now. It might be useful later on. Magic shield just makes your shield better, I believe. I don't think it is that useful. Uh, I'm going to leave everything else. Goodbye then. I'll just take Do full stay. control, because uh, I think it was pretty cheap there. 1,500, I believe. And Petrus has some friends here. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. All right, let's go talk to these guys. Okay, all right, well, hmm? fine. What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Yeah, I think I'll just go talk to her, mate. You are undead as well. And we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Alright, so this is Rhea right here. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, 
I should think not. Alright, so we're going to be going down to the depths next, which is a... Well, you know, all the areas are kind of annoying, but uh, the depths is... You can get poisoned and cursed. And cursed... Curse, being cursed is a very bad thing in this game, so... We're going to try and avoid that, so I'm going to rest at this bonfire, and see you guys next time. Maybe with a boulder shield. Probably not.